What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be opening up a retail box of 2020-21 Upper Deck Series 1. There's 24 packs inside, eight cards per pack, and hopefully we get some good stuff. I'm looking to complete the complete base sets, but also uh, I'm looking for young guns, I'm looking for a whole bunch of different stuff. So we're gonna be opening this up here. see what we can get so 24 packs inside and unlike the previous ones where I did I think uh, what year was it 17 18 retail box we're gonna go through the whole box today instead of half the box and then do another half so let's get cracking here you go through the base fairly quick uh, that's base as well I thought it was gonna be an insert so we have a complete base pack We have another complete base pack. What are the odds of that? Our first two packs in this retail box are base packs. That's not good luck for me. We should be getting on average six young guns, uh, a bunch of the other inserts as well. We did get an upper deck portrait for Tampa Bay. That is really nice. Take that one, I do not have that one and the rest is all base. Again, I'm looking for a complete base set. This card has a little bit of damage on the top. It's really hard to tell, but you definitely can see it. Let's see if we can get another portraits, I guess. I was going to go for young guns, but we're going to go for another portraits here for Kale Macker. Definitely a player that I will be collecting, so really nice one to get. pack here complete base pack what are the odds next pack we did get a checklist uh, we did get a young guns for Ryan McLeod I'm not sure if I do have this one or not. I'm definitely gonna have to double check, but still, we finally did get a Young Guns and the rest is all base. Let's see what we get here. Another base pack, wow, what are the odds? I didn't have this bad of luck the last time. My last retail box. McDavid on the front. We did get a Young Guns 4. Let it focus here. Martin Kant. Not sure if that is a good one to get or not. Those two cards stuck together. That's not a good sign when this product is just a couple years old. Ooh, we did get even better a Young Guns Upper Deck Canvas for Nick Robertson. I do not have his regular Young Guns, but having his Young Guns Canvas, that is pretty cool. That's definitely staying in my personal collection. I absolutely love that. And the rest is all base. That's pretty cool. I do like, that's the best one out of this box so far. Oh, we did get a Young Guns for Artem Zag. Doolin probably butchered that. I do apologize. David again. We did get Thomas Harley Young Guns. This is again, I think, one that I do not have, so that's a cool one to get. I like getting the ones where you didn't have them. And all of these base, I think I've had all of these base packs already in this video. Next pack here, we're getting near the bottom. We did get a Connor Garland uh, Upper Deck Canvas, not really a player that I know too much of. Put the canvas here. These ones were all sticking together. That's not a good sign for a recently new-ish product, only a couple years old. Base, base. Oh, we did get another Upper Deck Canvas for Flurry. This one looks amazing. Huge fan of Flurry. This is definitely staying in my PC. Definitely a really cool one to get as well. 
another hit from the box. I'm going to call it a hit because it's really cool and staying in my personal collection. Uh, we did get another base pack. Let's see here. Wow, two base packs back to back. That is crazy. Something good. We did get a Timothy Ligren, uh, upper deck portrait rookie. That one over here, Bishop. I thought the uh, upper deck portrait rookies were only in series two, unless they changed that and started putting them in uh, series one as well for this year. I thought it was always series two. We have Joel Kivrantanen, uh, Young Guns. I'm not familiar with the name. So I know I did butcher that. I do apologize. Let's see here. Another base pack. Well, that at least is helping out my uh, going for the complete base set over there. But I'm not sure by how much. Oh, we did pull a game jersey card. That is really cool. Sean Couture, Couturier. I always butcher his name. Really cool. I do like that upper deck now has different uh, versions of them. This one here is in the design of a hockey stick. They also have the hockey puck. I think that's the next year. The year after that, they got rid of the jersey packs, uh, by the way. So you can't get jersey cards out of upper deck anymore unless they change that for the following year. But yeah, they got rid of the jersey packs for 22-23. So don't expect me to open up too much of that because I do like the chance to get jersey packs, uh, jersey cards. We did get a blue Dazzler for Kevin Philia. Didn't get any Dazzlers yet, so that's cool. I thought you could get uh, red Dazzlers too, but I've never seen them yet. So we did get a blue Dazzler. I think before I pulled an orange Dazzler. Uh, we did get Mikey Anderson Young Guns. Not really familiar with him either. We have three packs left. Did see, or I thought I'd seen something. Ooh, we have an upper deck portrait for Mark Andre Fleury with the Vegas. That does look pretty sweet. That one is definitely staying in my personal collection. Because he's a player that's definitely is one of my favorites, and in my opinion, one of the best young guns of all young guns, goalies of all time. Base pack, damn. Definitely not what I wanted. But we have one pack left. Let's see what we get. The last pack of this retail box. Oh, I feel something here. It got stuck. Upper Deck Portrait for Patrick Laney. Not really a player that I collect, I'll be honest. But still a really cool Upper Deck Canvas. The rest, obviously, all base. So we did get a ton of base cards. So hopefully I do have that almost complete. If not, it is complete. We did get a blue Dazzler. So no red or orange in this video. We did get an upper deck portrait rookie. We did get in total one, two, three, four, five, six young guns, which are supposed to on average get six per box. So we did get that. We did get what three upper deck portraits yet. We did get a young guns upper deck canvas, which is awesome. That is the highlight of the video in my opinion. And we did get three uh, upper deck canvas cards as well. My favorite is going to be Mark Andre Fleury. That just looks phenomenal. And we also got a highlight of the video as well, a jersey card, which typically I absolutely love getting, but usually we don't get them too often. So it's awesome to see. Comment down below if you think this box was worth it. I think it was around a hundred dollars regular 125 i did get it on sale but i'll see you guys in the next video please take care peace